Hello, this is Roger Muller from Life is University. I'm recording in Aruba. It's February 11th, 2020. And I have some really special guests today. They're uh, actually personal friends that I met like about four years ago. They founded Alfi, which is a Aruba Lionfish initiative. And um, they have some great, great ideas. And they know a lot of great people in Aruba. And they are amazing. And here he is right here. <laughs> Hello. Oh no, that's not. <laughs> there he is. Oh, sorry. Wrong person. Oh, we have Ed and Abigail. Hi, Roger. And what's Hi. your full names here? Uh, Ed Egan. Ed Egan. Yeah. Where, where are you from? I'm from uh, Cranford, New Jersey. Originally, I've been living in Aruba now as a permanent resident for going on 11 years. Wow. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. home. And what's your name? I'm Abigail Froelich. And where are you from? I'm from Aruba. Okay, so tell everybody all the uh, lionfish. Uh, people that follow your, your, um, diving in Aruba and stuff like that. What, what do you guys do in Aruba? Like what, what's well, the name of your association? Since you don't have four hours, uh, we'll try and give you the short version. The Aruba Lionfish Initiative Foundation is now a, a foundation on Aruba for two years formally. It's a public trust for Aruba, for Aruban volunteers and tourist volunteers. Our mission is real simple. We ensure and promote safe diving. We ensure and promote reef conscious diving, and we offer safe and reef conscious removal of the invasive lionfish to protect Aruba's reefs. That's it in a nutshell. And the way we do this is we have an open system program that funds diving for interested volunteers. Scuba diving is very expensive. It can be up to $125 for a one tank shore dive here on Aruba. We provide that service for free as long as you reef consciously and safely remove lionfish and put that fish into our newly created supply chain here on Aruba. We have created the only 100% sustainable seafood for Aruba in lionfish. And the Bakuti Beach Resort has led the way in a lot of green initiatives, but they've championed the lionfish and it's now a menu item from catch of the day two years ago. It's now a menu item at their restaurant for everyone to try and we encourage you to do so. And demand is through the roof. Um, how do people find find you when they're in Aruba? Should they call, contact you before they get to the island? It's always a good idea because the demand is high. We've done, uh, we have I think 11 uh, certifications so far this year. We've developed a dive product for Aruba, the Alfi Foundation Lionfish Hunter Certification. We actually treat it as a refresh for divers so we get their dive skills back up first. Then we introduce the equipment to them and how to reef consciously remove lionfish by practicing, believe it or not, on a practical dive with potatoes because potatoes don't float. After that dive, when you're certified, you also get some free potatoes that are already salted. They go home and make french fries, so it's a really great thing. <laughs> There's a fee for that, which covers the practical portion of the dive, and then about 30% of it goes to the foundation for your lifetime membership. As of this time, there's no annual membership. When you get certified and prove that you are a reef conscious lionfish only hunter, you are part of our organization for life and you have all the benefits there, therein, which is free tanks, loaner equipment, uh, free boat lift, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It just goes on and on. And it's all because you want to save your little corner of the world. And we thank you for that. Okay, so reef consciousness, you, you want divers that have good buoyancy and they know not to spear coral. Yeah, reef conscious is the reason we're out removing the invasive lionfish is to protect Aruba's beautiful reefs, right? So you have to do that reef consciously. If you miss a lionfish and break a piece of coral this big, you're knocking off seven years of coral growth. And that's what we're there to protect. So in that training I told you about, we do it only at Mangalatho inside, sandy bottom away from all coral. And it's also a more controlled water environment because there's less current. It's inside it's the reef. It's lower water. Right. So we make sure that you're first a safe diver, neutral buoyancy, spatial awareness, uh, awareness, all those things that you're taught in your patty over water course. Then we introduce a zookeeper and handling equipment, a spear. What and is we, a zookeeper? A zookeeper is a containment unit. It was uh, developed in uh, Curacao by a gentleman named uh, Ali. Um, it's a basically a PVC pipe with a twist off cap and a funnel on top that's uh, shredded. You, once you spear the invasive venomous lionfish, it has 11 venomous spines on the top, you need to contain it and keep it off your body to continue the dive. You insert it in the zookeeper. When you remove the spear, the funnel catches the fish inside and it's retained in the containment unit. And then you can proceed on and continue to cull lionfish. Okay, so Abigail, tell me about your involvement with Alfie. Well, I started 
a little bit more than four years ago. I was I started actually with Aruba Reef Care Foundation. I was part of their first women dive lionfish hunter group, uh, and from there on, I invited Ed um, to start lionfish hunting, and from there we started. So um, right now, uh, so I'm also a founder, and um, I'm also now the secretary. I do everything. I try to do everything. I'm a diver. I dissect. I fillet. I try to do everything for the, for the foundation. So how are you uh, promoting? I heard that you used to be a teacher in Aruba and that you're trying to teach uh, younger kids about lionfish and how they don't belong in the area, all yes. the damage they're doing to the reefs, and how they're eating all the small tropical fish. Yes. Um, as well as introduce them to the dive community here in Aruba. Uh, we, like I said, our, our, our main tenant is safe diving. And here on the island, well, anywhere, scuba diving is very expensive. So what we're trying to do, along with that youth program, is to facilitate those divers to water at no cost and educate them about the environment for the reasons you said. But yeah, so because I was a teacher, um, the way to start with the younger kids, um, I wanted, uh, I started to work on a, on a, on a uh, how to put it into our curriculum into into the schools. So at every age, they will get about the lionfish, what it what it is. Uh, why it's not good for the for the reef? Why um, that it is safe to eat? Um, so to teach more about the lionfish, because as I said, and I'm, I've been telling everybody, it is so difficult to raise awareness about a fish because it's under it's in the water in the sea. Not everybody goes underwater. in the underwater to see it and see what damages it has been doing. So um, and I think younger kids is the way to start the awareness because younger kids will for sure go home and tell mom and dad and everybody else what is lionfish and they are the best uh, ambassadors of the, for the ocean yep. yeah yeah um, so you started four years ago um, yeah uh, how many people are in your group we've certified over 180 lionfish hunters yes. both tourists and residents a lot yeah, we started. We started with the lionfish hunt, hunting for four years ago, and then two years ago we we became a legal foundation, and then we started with the certification, the LP lionfish hunter certification, and up to now it's like 175 around that. So well, we did nine. It was 175. That, we've done nine. So yeah, so of locals and tourists that are that has been that took our certification. Who was your first tourist uh, member? You. you are Roger Muller. <laughs> when was it? <laughs> four when? years ago. Right? Four years yes. ago, yeah. Wow. And before you left the island, you bought into our cause so much and were so appreciative of what we offered yeah. you that you left us a couple zookeepers yeah. and a couple spears. And, and, and those kinds of contributions yes. have helped us every step of the way. You were the first, but you were not the last. We've, everyone that we've touched just wants to do more because this is a win 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 win. It's win for the community, it's win for the environment, and it's win for marine tourism in Aruba, which is a growing segment. The dive market is growing rapidly, and we need to make sure that the divers that are coming here know the Aruban commitment to the underwater environment, and that's what we stand for. And you've said that uh, there's a big net of demand now in restaurants for yeah. fish. Like yeah. Four years ago, everybody was afraid to yeah. eat the fish. They what? thought they were poisonous and yeah. venomous, and, yeah, because but they're not, they're not poisonous. Yes, they're the, venomous. The, the problem but, in Aruba is the, the language. The language barrier because in Aruba we don't have a word for poison and another word for venom so when you say venom in Aruba you're gonna be dying from it that's it and that was the biggest hurdle because you have to, now we have to explain to people that it is venomous not poisonous right. and and to our credit and to our volunteers credit four years later now when you ask a local resident if they've heard about the lionfish they have and they know two things. It's good to eat, yeah. and it's not good for Aruba to yeah. be in the water. And the thing is, once the spines are cut off, it becomes a regular fish. It's regular fish. Yeah, yeah. It's a, and it's the most delicious white fish you could ever have. We, yeah. be, because of our efforts, we've taken it from a catch of the day menu at the Bakuti Beach Resort to a, 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 a menu item, rather, to a menu item. Now, it's there daily. Have you ever seen a live fish that you clean that has dark meat? No. Never, right? Never. I've never seen. Never one either no they always it's wait a beautiful and, white fillet what, cook it very lightly it's delicious what kind of fish would you say that lionfish tastes like i've had a lot of of, of our certified divers and uh, specifically tourists say it's a cross between grouper and lobster 
It's a very rich grouper because it eats the best of the best, unfortunately. Because it has no natural predator, it eats everything on the reef. Lobsters, crabs, parrotfish, everything. So it's the best of the best. If this fish were farmed, it probably wouldn't taste as good. Yeah. Because it's unchecked and has a diet that includes every species on our reef, it is the most rich in omega-3s. Yeah. It is the most delicious. It's, it's really good for you. And, and thank you know, and we thank God for that because imagine having to remove we've removed over seven thousand fish uh, since we started tracking three years ago. Wow. Could you imagine if we had to just dispose of them? Now we utilize every piece of the fish. So people are making jewelry out of our, our yeah. friend uh, Marie Hickerson, Sue, Sue, Sue Lider, Lion, Lion Fantastic yes. uh, jewelry line. I'm wearing one of her. Actually, this was made from lionfish fins. These are these are not um, the spines, the venomous spines. There's a fin set in the uh, tail area that she utilizes as well as the tail itself for earrings, necklaces. I have a lionfish keychain. And, <laughs> and actually she's at the uh, Married Every Thursday? I believe yes. she is. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought yeah. stuff from her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you can, also get, crafts, you can also yeah. go to Jad's themselves down at Davy Beach and there's a display right there uh, on the counter. I actually along with uh, their wonderful spent services. some time with uh, Sue in July and unfortunately couldn't talk to me that long because she got stung by a lionfish on a dive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so why don't you want to get stung by a lionfish when you're diving? And why is it important to be well, trained not to... I've been doing this for four years, never been stung before, wow. so you can ask him because wow. he did. I don't know What's how it feels. What's it like feels. getting stung? <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> it's about a hundred times a bee, uh, bee sting pain and it lasts for seven hours. The, uh, I was stung at 70 feet and I, I, uh, I was stung on the thumb luckily so I constricted the area and the, uh, the venom came out. Because the difference between poison and venom is you can um, ingest venom, you can drink it, it's just a localized in your bloodstream effect of a protein-based venom. So I finished the dive. When I got to surface without the pressure of the water, I really felt the pain. I couldn't get to shore fast enough. I ran, ran immediately to a restaurant, got next to the coffee machine, and did the only treatment you can do is get a bowl of hot water and go, ow, 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 that's hot, for about an hour. Once that's done, you simply suffer with some, maybe like some uh, acetaminophen or something for seven hours and your thumb feels like uh, a cartoon thumb, you know, just boom, 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 <laughs> pounding red. And then after seven hours, it just stops. But do I've you have also... any pictures you can send me? Oh, no. <laughs> I, have, I have pictures from I, I do know. It's, I, it's funny because I don't drink alcohol and I was sitting at a bar and I had 137 people because of the pain on my face want to buy me a drink. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is, because you had this experience, you're teaching for, for Alfie safety also, yeah. lionfish safety. Yeah. So we, the thing is, a lot of people ask me if lionfish come and attack you, they're aggressive and stuff like that. And I tell them that they're not, that they, they don't come after you, they're very docile. But, yeah. but the thing is, it's super, super important to make sure that you know don't, when you're taking pictures, don't drop on your foot. Right. Don't bump into other yeah. people. You have to, and, that, and that's what we yeah. do. I mean, we're involving people with a, with a venomous species. So we have to take those safeguards, not only from a diving perspective, because, because what happens is when you even, and you know this from a diver yourself, Roger, you have photographers that can get tunnel vision in that moment and forget about their dive skills. The same thing happens with lionfish, and we stress that from the beginning. You have to dive safely first. You always have to be a mindful diver. The fish is approached in control and it's in approached slowly and it generally will not move unless he's been educated or molested by another dive group uh, that we're hunting up. So, so what uh, plans in the future do you have with the uh, Alfie group? Oh, what plans don't we have? We've we have a lot. Right now for this year, what we want to accomplish for sure is the deep water traps. That's what we are working very hard on. Um, right on, and working also, and, uh, yeah, we we are working with uh, with Bob Hickerson and Maria Hickerson from the Frapper. In to, Florida, to Florida, them, yeah, we're yeah. Start. Good guys. to start with Girls. them to do the to actually uh, start implementing uh, with their um, the full program with their Frapper uh, containment unit, and we're also starting up with the youth program. Um, the youth program is very important to us because. Um, this way we will um, also also prevent what is happening a lot on the island and it's not you can it's something bad but they were all, as a Ruben I can say that this we are being brought up on an island and there's sea all around us we all go to the beach we all dive we, we're all free divers let's put it that way mm -hmm. and for us it's more like oh we live here so we can go dive without needing needing the proper training so there's no proper 
training for it and then we will have people going and diving without, without doing a getting hurt getting without hurt a getting, no. the, getting the bands getting the bands and that is what we want to avoid starting from young on and teaching these kids that um, there's the proper way and safe way of doing diving and free diving and also with this also making them um, see our marine life and um, that will also encourage some of them or maybe all of them to start a career with something marine that's biology wrong, or, marine biology or even so dive masters be like Alex Fogg in Florida yes yeah. so then we will be having our own local people managing our, our own local own, problem own local thing marine life and everything else or it could be like Dr. Steve Giddings from Manoa. Yes, and, who knows? Uh, build maybe traps and invent yeah. new, who knows? new we systems. Will meet, we might all, be having all. a next Dr. Steve Giddings here on the island. Yeah, all of those names. I still want to be Alex Fogg myself. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be Roger Mueller when I grow up. So that's just the thing is, um, the, um, I heard that the king and queen of uh, Holland that died, do they yes. know about the issues with lionfish? Does anybody approach that's, them? That's a good question. We had. We I just, am sure they got approached. They're going to know. Well, they're going to know now. Um, actually, yeah. I think there was a gentleman on the island that years ago was gifted a boat, if I'm not mistaken, by the, the queen at that time yeah. for the lionfish. When it was shortly after the first uh, sighting in the 90s, so if I'm not mistaken. The 90s. But, oh. yeah. Yeah. But but now. Um, we've just met with the governor of Aruba, who is, for all intents and purposes, the king and queen here on the island. So I'm What's sure. What's the uh, governor's that, name? Uh, governor Bo Bocart. Mr. Bukhalt. Yeah, I never. Bukhalt. Okay, we're getting the right. Yeah. We're gonna go. The right too many yeah. What's the governor of Aruba's correct name? His last name is Bukhalt. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Governor Bukhalt. Mr. Bukhalt. But he's been a, he's been a so supporter he's, of what we're doing. He's really we're, into the underwater environment. Yes, yeah. he's, um, he supports everything. That's, he's tried lionfish, loves it. Yeah, he's he's um, doing. He's been um, actually supporting everything around the marine life of Aruba. Um, he's also a, loves uh, turtles. Yeah. He loves turtles. Who he's also a free diver. Oh yeah. really? Yeah. <laughs> he also dives with snorkels. Um, his family does, so they. They, that's that's why they know about the problem also. And he loves tourists. I found out today. Yeah. He's a very nice guy, right? Yes, no, he is. Yes, and he is. I, I think incredible. that he uh, wants to help educate people about the underwater uh, environment. Yes, so I know he does. I'm he sure. Wants to I'm help confident the kids. that uh, we will be certifying him in a few. Yeah. <laughs> that's really cool. And the thing is, you know, by scuba diving, and um, you can start at 10 years old and get certified. Um, you don't have to be a a lionfish spear or a killer no. in order to participate you still can help Correct. by be a spotter yes. um, I, I, Roger I started as a spotter I'm the kind of person that will move a spider rather than squash it yeah. I started as a spotter until two hunters separately missed one fish and I, and I swam over and I speared it and I would, now I was in I still do more spotting than hunting today to develop the skill sets of our new volunteers that's yeah. what we're the about good, the good thing is that um, it's not a we get to know this through the years that um, we started a, lion, a lionfish foundation, but we get in touch with so many other aspects yeah, of the marine ones. life. So we help, we help for the for the color rest, coral restorations, for example. We see what's happening under the water because we're there all the time. Right. So um, we help everybody that we can help right. in and around the marine life of Aruba. Teamwork so, makes so, the dream so work, it's right? when, yep. when, when everybody it's, works yeah. together, it really works out well. Aruba wins. So the thing is, it's yes. about Aruba and yes. making Aruba better, safer, yes. um, improving the underwater environment, helping. Yes. Yes. What, what, what many people don't realize, Roger, is that everyone is a stakeholder in this. This is affecting the Atlantic Basin from as far up as New York all the way off the coast of Brazil. It's just, it's not going away. Everyone is a stakeholder, and we yes. have a system now that demonstrates that and gets these people involved where they can actually make a difference. Yeah. And people, and the more awareness that we raise, the more and more people are coming on board, the more support we're having. And our goal really is to be the model for small island states. Aruba, our goal is to solve this problem, to maintain 100% sustainable seafood in, uh, market in lionfish here for Aruba, to protect every other marine animal in the waters they're all endangered here in aruba so in aruba you can use a spear but you're not allowed to spear anything but lionfish yeah that is that, yeah, that is, uh, that is spearfishing is illegal in aruba that illegal. is the agreement 
agreement that we have for the authorities because spear fishing in Aruba is illegal. So when we bring out our, when we import our the lionators, we're using the lionators as our preferred pole um, uh, spears. We have to notify. We have to notify the first are notified already while they're coming in because we're alfi, and um, we have to notify everybody that we sell to a lionator that it is only for lionfish. Fish only. What is the uh, the abbreviation Alfi stands for? It's Aruba, the Aruba Lion Lionfish Fish Initiative, Initiative Foundation. Foundation. I always have trouble doing that. That's, <laughs> that's why I asked yeah, you guys. My, my, my trouble is with Steve Giddings at NOAA, National Oceanographic <laughs> Aeronautics and Navajo <laughs> But yeah. Alfie, I got. The first, I, I remember when we started, it was, uh, was we had to actually keep um, explaining why we want to use the word initiative. Uh, because some people wanted to take it out, and yeah. there is a restaurant called Alfie too, right? Yeah, yes. there is, but that, yes. that's not. You know, nothing yeah. to do with Ours is an yeah. acronym. It's right. the yeah. Lion Fish. Yeah. But um, we we wanted we we actually chose the word initiative is because every day you go out, it's an initiative right. to do something. Because our approach was to get up and do it and not talk about it. We yes. were invited to because of uh, very early on, we were invited to the UN Sustainability Conference right here where we're standing. Yeah. And uh, and we everyone went around the room and each one of their issues, like if the government would just do this, if the government would just do that. Our initiative is let's do it and those and that support will come on afterwards yeah. once we've proven and that's exactly what's happening now. We've proven that we can manage the diveable sites here in Aruba for lionfish. Four years ago you'd go to Mangalato, you'd see 14 fish on the dive. Now, the same dive, you have to look to find one that's hiding from our reef management team. If someone wants to make a donation, what do they do? They just contact us through our Facebook page. We're very close to, our website is in beta testing. We're very close to not only e-learning online for our certification course, so you can just, you can do that at home. You can arrive at Aruba, present your certificate Oceanside and do the practical course, and then you're certified for life. Now we have to do that manually at the Surfside. So we're very close to the website being complete. They'll be able to donate through there. There'll be a donate button. But you can always... What is the uh, website address going to be? It's the... Um, it's www.arubalionfish.org. Yeah. That org. Yeah. It, it, it exists, but it's not complete. You can yeah. check it out. And the thing is, when you do get it together, you're going to give me the address. I'm going to put something up on lionfishdivers.com. Of course. Of course. Yeah, we, I, of course. I mean, one of the things about this community... First of all, the dive community is 1% of the world's population. And probably 1% of that 1% is lionfish people shall we say. And those people work very closely together because we are fighting ignorance, we are fighting uh, apathy, we are fighting uh, all of that together. So together we're stronger. I say it all the time, I stole it from somebody, but it's teamwork that has made this dream work. If it wasn't for the support of Bakuti, the Palm Island, our volunteers, the list goes on and on. Ata, Ahata, uh, uh, the list goes on and on. So you guys also help uh, clean the environment, you'll have dives? With the, uh, yep. on the Palm Island. March 8th, March 8th, we do a monthly underwater cleanup as well as a monthly so call. So you're on not the Palm only uh, killing lionfish, you're also helping the environment by cleaning up the garbage yeah, that's that in is, the water. That's a great that deal of crossover. Said, you know, when we and started we the, the foundation for the, for, the, uh, for the lionfish, but by doing the lionfish, we're underwater and we see all the problems. So we try to help everywhere that we can. Lionfish is our number one purpose. But then, why not while do hunting lionfish? pick up a little trash plastic trash that you, right. you see on the water yeah. take it you and know the other the other side of that is Nicole Donser who's a teacher here at the uh, uh, one of the schools here on Aruba started a similar program and she, she worked with us in the beginning to see how we did it she now has a foundation called Scubba Bubbles that is reforesting the reef with yes. I believe elk coral oh, yes. also in conjunction yeah. with the yeah. Palm Island Palm Island, yeah. wow. you know so what what we've demonstrated is that people can make a difference. Yeah. Right? And that's happening more and more. You see it more and more. You see the plastics initiatives. You see the, the our Alfie initiative. You see the scubble bubbles, reforestation. So she's helping uh, grow new coral. Absolutely. Yes. Like, she's got, she's like got, trees. Yeah, they have it in the back of yeah. uh, Palm uh, Island. That's pretty amazing. It is yeah. amazing. Yeah. And uh, every month we go we go with the Palm Island, we do the, the, the reef cleanup. It's right. with scubble bubbles. Wow. So we yeah. help. We, and the people are really working and, together is yeah, a really big key. It's not a it's not an individual no, no. Working goal. Together. It's working Everybody together. Everybody has a specialty what they're doing right. for the marine life, but when we work together, we do. It's, it's and there's not better. there's not one individual that can take credit for any of it. Yeah. If it wasn't a cooperative effort from day there one be any about yeah. concerned citizens, yeah. Yeah. it wouldn't even exist. Yeah. yeah, wouldn't even. It's too big for any one person yeah. to claim.
So, all right, so we uh, definitely have to try to get everybody to work together. Even yeah. if they're not divers, they can help. They can uh, well, we have, we have surface. Can, we have surface support at the cleanup. They can we have people write, on the boat can... to take the garbage and put it on, on the yeah. boat. Yeah. You know, people want to help. We found that the more that we offer this, the, the possibility to help, the more people that want to help. Yeah. But because you have then, to for offer example, the possibility for the cleanup, first. We have divers in the water, and then we have people just walking on top of the of the, the, beach, yeah. the beach itself and cleaning up the player. Mm -hmm. So everybody can help. Yeah. Um, I want to ask a question. Uh, I was diving in the Caymans and they have laws. You're not allowed to lion fish hunt until you take their lion fish certification, certification yes. course. What do, you, what do you think about that? I mean, do you think it's safe that a dive operators just give people spears and they just jump no, in the water? And, absolutely not. You know, no. That's exactly and, why we exist. Yeah, and that, that is also, um, I got in contact with them with the with with Cayman because they had they have kind of what we have with the, the uh, Alfie. The same plan. The, the same, same plan, plan and everything and they were doing it on their own because it's not it was not a PADI certification and they brought in PADI and PADI made it as PADI certification so that when you want to do lion fish hunting you have to go through them. It's a license. It's a license. Yeah. And that is the best way to do it because then you you are actually in control of all the lion fish hunting and you, you know what to sure, do and not right. you yeah. make sure that everybody gets the same information about what how it's being right. done how to do it safely the correct information the correct information and then ev you know that the everybody everybody is doing the same thing but and we've actively sought out the support of dive shops here on Aruba but it's very, very difficult for them to help us promote this or even to become involved because they're, they're busy with their own profit model yeah. for tourist dives. They've given us, I mean, Aqua Wendy's gave us uh, free tank fills for the first two years, but we'd be standing here if it wasn't for them. We've tried other facilities to integrate them because we're growing and growing and growing and the more dive professionals involved, the better. Okay, but, but guess what? That project is on my paperwork. <laughs> I'll be having, I'm actually working towards making the Alfie certification, a PADI certification, right. just like the Cayman Islands. So then we make sure that everybody's doing the same thing, safe, dive safely, and um, uh, not hurting the reefs, and um, make sure that the lionfish hunting goes the way it should be right. And to my point, the PADI certification will then be a revenue source for Aruba dive shops, and then we'll get the full support of the Aruba yeah. dive shops. Most of them do recognize and refer our certification presently for lionfish hunting. So they do that first, then we'll take it lionfish hunting. Unfortunately, not every shop does that, and we have some cowboys in the water that are probably, maybe, doing more harm than good. And the thing is with the cowboys, uh, they don't realize, a lot of people think they're going to hunt for lionfish and make some money selling lionfish, yeah. but they do too many dives, they yeah. get yes. decompression sickness. Again, yes. safe diving, um, reef conscious diving, yes. safe and reef conscious. Yes, that is what we want to avoid because then they will, they will be diving too many dives in a day or the next day and then they get, they, they get yes, yeah. and then um, they might be hurting corals, breaking them. And that's they're, not they're, the purpose because either. they're not properly trained or yes. aware of how. And that is what we want to avoid, and that is uh, that that is why uh, that the Cayman Islands did it. Um, it's a good idea that everybody is doing the same thing mm -hmm. with the same purpose. Right. I can tell you too. In uh, Thanksgiving, I was in Jamaica, and I was talking to different people, instructors I know, and they said that there's a big issue in Jamaica where um, fishing boats were paying guys to, on a, a hookah. To go off the uh, boats, they were diving for like eight hours at a time. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, you different hear depths, about that. They, they get the bends. There's like yeah. one town. There's like you know, 50 people walking around with, uh, that are, are crippled. Or yeah, you hear so there, there, are so, there are small yes. island states that that's their main mainstay. Yeah, yeah so they were making the money, diving. but it was very unsafe. Right. And yes. the thing is, it's so safe. They weren't. No one told them that. Yes. You know, that there's the, danger, the, so it's really the, important it's to learn. It's not about the misinformation. It's about the no information at all. At all. And that is what we want to start. Uh, and it's not, it's not about the profits, it's about the safety. Yes. No, safety first. There, there are no profits. For us, yeah. there are no profits. Everything, if there is money left over after we have all this equipment in place and have all these services in place, it's just going to be reinvested in another program. For example, this year, we've already started the youth program with the limited funds we have, and we're looking for major funding because it's going to be a major program for Aruba. We're also starting the deep water trap program. 
We've commissioned several traps from Frapper, and we're waiting for funding for up to 48 traps to oh. really have an effect. How much are traps? Uh, I think they're about uh, $200 U.S. Each, complete. Each when we were building them on island with welding and you know, people we had to use for professional services, it came up to about 320 flyers. Plus, the shipping is very expensive too, right? Well, I, we're hoping that as the foundation and, and with some of our connections now because of, of what we've demonstrated in the government that maybe we can get duty waived and things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. We know that on island, excuse me, when, when we have the traps, we know that we're going to have a good network of volunteer fishermen, captains, and scuba divers to get them deployed, and it's greatly going to minimize our our cost because what we're going to do is we're going to make these traps we're going to give them to the Aruban fishermen they're going to monitor them and every 14 days when they're pulled up we're going to buy their catch in to put it into the Good only 100 percent sustainable supply chain Great for deal. seafood on Aruba wow it's a win 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 yeah, win win yeah. win yeah so but and it's a whole new market for them and the, actually the wholesale price is now exceeding grouper on the island and hopefully it'll drive people away from grouper and two lionfish, and we expect it to go up another florin within the next two months per kilo. And what's a florin compared to a dollar? Uh, 1.75 florins equals one US dollar. So 20 bucks is 35 florin. Okay, so again, if anybody comes here, if they want to bring spears or I any kind of equipment to I wouldn't recommend donate? It. Well, I wouldn't recommend it unless they make prior, prior arrangements. We've had spears seized. You know, uh, through, even through cargo these days, right? Um, you can get lucky and get it through, but we have all that on island. Not only that, but we are the Caribbean, the Dutch Caribbean distrib distributor for Lionator pole spears. Walt Dieltman out of Canada developed these spears to help the cause, and we've been working with him for four years, practical application of his spears, and now it's, in our opinion, the best product in the market, and it's all we use, really. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, it is better just to buy one here, because or just you, use ours. Get yeah, certified and we offer the equipment to hunt yeah, while you're here. Don't you travel yours, light. <laughs> so you're not charging? Chance. No, there's no, we don't charge. What, we, charge crazy. we charge for the certification yeah. and only 30% of that goes to the foundation. The rest goes to the dive contractor that needs to do the practical dive, so, pay for the tank, pick the guest up, all that. So people are getting free diving? Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. We don't, I mean... So the thing is maybe dive shops don't like that because you're competing with well, them. No, that's not true because we, we, we had a test program last year with a dive shop here on the island. It didn't work out, unfortunately. But forget about the business that we sent to them through people wanting to do lionfish. Those people then stuck around and did five dive packages for the week, et cetera, et cetera. This is all about stimulating Aruba's economy, too. Our t-shirts, our rest guards are all made on Aruba. Our cards made on Aruba. The only thing that we don't get on Aruba are things that we can't get on Aruba. It's that simple. Um, I, I was I watch you guys on Facebook. What's your address on Facebook? Aruba Lion Fish Initiative Foundation. On uh, Facebook, okay. I believe so. So I, I noticed that um, recently you had a uh, bag that you just came out with. Oh yeah, that's the Arubiano yeah, bag. That's, I think. Unfortunately, you don't have one with you because you gave yeah. it away to the governor. Yeah. The Arubiano bag, you can find it at the at the Superfood. That's the my uh, favorite uh, yeah, supermarket. So you will yeah. find it there. That's the Arubiano bag. We we teamed up with Arubiano because um, Damelis Manzur, she's the director, um, and she also she takes pictures of everything that's on those bags. Professional are. nature photography. Yes. What does Arubiano do? It's a photographer. Um, it's it's a reusable, sustainable shopping bags. Yes, is what they do, but they do it okay. by oh. promoting Aruba's nature and to con go into conservation of the nature of Aruba. And you have the pictures on the bag. And yes, yeah, we have. Oh, that's, great. that's why if they we'll if get they you one. A, We're actually picking up a number of them from Arubiano yeah. for our so membership. So you will get on their them. bags uh, the picture of uh, of the prikichi. That's our our bird, or from the shoko. That's our national right. bird. And because those are instinctions in Aruba, so they they want to promote the preservation awareness. of it, and the awareness of it. So we are we are the first marine project that they're doing. Yeah, so we got a bag uh, with a cool lionfish picture up front, and a, uh, on the looks really side. nice. Yeah, well the uh, really the, nice. the picture uh, on front was taken by uh, Jos Borman, who's a Aruba underwater photographer. Very yeah. nice. Uh, and um, and then we have another picture on the back of just a healthy coral. Yeah, how it should be. And then they were good enough to put our catchphrases on there, dive yes. with the mission, fight the invasion, and so, of course yeah, promote so us. So they wanna they wanna help us this way to give out most how they can help us is given out. Well, people get more aware too. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and what's that? Sure. What kind of fish is that? They yeah. don't know what it is because it doesn't it belong in a river. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. The, the lionfish don't belong here. So yes. the thing is, uh, the way Ed and Abigail are going with the uh, Aruba Lionfish Initiative. The uh, the lionfish don't have a lot of chance, um, and I'm I'm happy to uh, be involved with them. We're happy to and have you. And I feel happy that I, I 
met them when they first started, which yeah. I can't believe. You're one of the first tourists and that yeah. we certified. Yeah. I, I uh, thank them for allowing me to before you know, we even figured it out. Participate yeah. with yeah. them and. Uh, you know, we had a, a long swim and uh, interesting dive. Yes. <laughs> and I, I know that uh, after that, if I'm going to do any long shore dives, I need to bring a snorkel. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you use the air and it See, doesn't, work, doesn't work out too well. Sometimes so, we teach you so, the hard way, but we teach you. Even, even no, you someone know. with uh, over 100 certifications, uh, yeah. I learned something from Alfie four years ago Glad that to hear. Uh, I didn't know because I didn't do that many shore dives. So now in the last four years since I did that, I've probably done you know 50 boat dives that's it so yeah. i like the shore diving good exercise yeah. um also i dove with alfie four years ago i made a lot of friends yeah it's really nice getting together they're with friends everybody. to this day aren't so they, yes right? yeah, so that's... even if you don't get a lionfish which we always do yeah because that's the you beauty. get a whole community on a roof right that's yeah, and, right. Also, and we meet everybody. nice people i tell everybody it's that's also the nice part of the long swim outs at shore diving that all the it's a bonding some great conversation conversation yeah. conversation <laughs> Conversation, when you come back, conversation, conversation. Yeah. So that's the beauty of it. It's just another, it's just another byproduct of, of doing the right thing for our room. When I'm underwater with Ed, we always uh, do sign language stuff. So. But I, I still don't know what the middle finger is for. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you take my fish. That's, <laughs> no. I never took your fish. I know, I'm kidding. But, all right, so um, thank you very much for thank you, spending uh, 35 minutes and 35 seconds. <laughs> Talk to me. This is like the longest ever wow. interview for me oh, I hope or for Livish University. <laughs> we don't need to edit it because you guys were so good. Um, you know, I, I sat there listening to you uh, speak to the governor today of Aruba, and I was so impressed. He's very guys are great um, speakers and um, the information was really amazing yeah. well, Roger, like you know you, you've been an insurance salesman for your whole life you know your product inside and out right we didn't do this without a commitment we didn't do this to do it halfway and we've been so blessed frankly that we've gotten everyone that we've gone to and we've gone to very few people but you can tell your viewership, we're coming to ask for help. <laughs> we've gotten to very few people, but everyone that we've gotten to has signed on because of the results we've gotten together. That's the volunteers, the businesses, everybody wins. Everybody's a stakeholder. Whether you're a tour, even if you're in Texas watching this, you're a stakeholder in protecting our environment. But what's your favorite state? I'm not going to say that. Well, My favorite state is the New state Jersey. of mind I experience in Aruba. No. <laughs> <laughs> but being from New Jersey, New there's Jersey's a, a great there's state. a lot of viewers in New Jersey. So. There's a New Jersey, listen, New Jersey got me to Aruba. I had an air freight trucking company there for 22 years. It was very, very good to me. What was the name of it? It is Fast Fleet Systems Incorporated. Oh, so it's they're still going. In yeah, Newark. My, my partner, yeah. It's wow. in actually five cities. Wow. Yeah. Big time. Yeah. No, not really. Okay, so <laughs> thank you very much. Thank I'm you, come into the, the picture right now. Yeah, man. So we got everybody in here. So I have actually cramp in my hand for uh, my mouth. You want, me to, you want me to hold it for you? Oh. Just, there you go. Oh, oh, why did you just say something? Uh, hopefully, Team did work? we turn record on? The dream work. I don't oh know. my God! Imagine we do it. <laughs> but Ed and Abigail love talking about lionfish. So yeah. It doesn't matter if it was on or not. I still remember everything they say. Um, I like their enthusiasm and they, they put their heart into really caring about saving the environment in Aruba and it, other places too. Because the more people that learn about lionfish and the issues that they are creating underwater, the better it is for, for everybody. And I've had people that never knew what a lionfish was. Mm -hmm. I've yeah. had people attacking me saying, why would you kill such a beautiful yeah. fish? <laughs> it's one of my favorite fish. If I could have one in my 200 knot gallon, beautiful fish. Attack, I would have it, yeah. but I can't afford to feed them live fish. Yeah. Um, who knows what you're gonna do with them after they get too big. And that's maybe why some of the lionfish are around Aruba because people couldn't afford to feed them, ended up throwing them in the ocean and they started breeding. And so, anyway, thank you so much for Ed and Abigail. Thank you. From Alfie for doing this interview. Yeah. Thank you. See you later. Take care. Signing off for Life is University.